Hello and welcome to Computer Active TV Hints and Tips. My name is Tim Smith and in this video we're going to take a look at upgrading the memory in your desktop computer. Now upgrading the memory of a computer is the cheapest and probably the easiest upgrade you can make. The performance benefits will be seen in all kinds of programs from games to photo editing and there's no actual changes needed in software to take advantage. Now, you will need to find out what memory your computer takes. And the easiest way of doing this is to look in the manual that should have been supplied with your computer or with a motherboard if you built it yourself. Don't worry if you don't have this manual, as most motherboard manufacturers are very good at putting their manuals online. Uh, you will need to open the case to find out the motherboard manufacturer and model number, because unfortunately Windows isn't normally able to report this. But we're going to open the case anyway, so it doesn't make any sense to put it off any longer. Now on our motherboard here, you can see that there's a name and a model number. It's an ASUS board, and the model number can be put into the search box on the ASUS website. The manual will tell you what memory you need and also how you should install it. Some motherboards have two slots. You can see our one here has just two slots for memory. Some motherboards have three. Uh, but more commonly these days they have four and there should be a table in the manual that will tell you how you should install the memory. Sometimes if you're using memory sticks of different sizes you should put the bigger ones in first before the smaller ones. Now to make things easier for you we've actually got the motherboard here that we've taken out of the computer so you can see the memory slots and here they are at this end here. Now you'll also see that they're colour coded and this is quite important because memory is used in pairs so that two sticks are being used at the same time to improve performance. So it's very important to make sure that the old pair of memory sticks and the new pair of memory sticks go in the respective colours. Now it just so happens that we've got uh, existing memory cards here with a yellow heatsink on and some new with a red. But don't feel that you have to make the colours match up. That was just pure chance on our part. So now that you can see how the motherboard will look when you first get it open. Now you can tell which way round to plug the memory in by using this indentation here on the bottom of the card. This means that one set of connectors is longer than the other and you can match this up with the slot on the computer. Now there are these white catches on either end that hold the memory in place. You can see there are also some indentations here on the side of the cards. So push these back away from the motherboard, align the memory carefully, putting it in the slot of one end first and then in the other and push down firmly. And you can see here that the white catches have flipped up into place locking the memory firmly in. Repeat that with the second lot of memory. And you can see here we've now got all four sticks installed firmly. Now all you need to do is close the case of your computer and turn it back on. As we said, there's no more work that needs to be done and no settings that need to be changed. If you want to follow the text this workshop in which we've included links to some of the bigger motherboard manufacturers, you can find it using the text below. This has been Tim Smith for Computer Active Hints and Tips.